And as we hear more about him, we're also learning more about the seven lives lost. WFAA's Kevin Reese shares some of their stories. It's video from a doorbell camera showing Mary Granados with a smile delivering mail going about her normal day. Minutes later, she would be one of the first victims shot and killed her mail truck hijacked and rammed into a police barricade before police ended the shooter's rampage. She was on the phone with her twin sister, Rosie Granados, when she was killed. I just wish she was here with me, you know. I wish this was just a dream. The other confirmed victims include Lila Hernandez. She was just 15. These pictures from her quinceanera. Her brother was injured, too. Edwin Peregrino was 25, killed when he ran into his parents' Odessa yard to investigate the gunshots he heard. The gunman targeted him instead. Joseph Griffith was at a traffic light, his wife and two children in the car with him when the gunman pulled up alongside. He was a math teacher. He was 40 years old. Cameron Brown was found in his car, a single bullet hole in his windshield. He'd survived a tour in Afghanistan. His employer, an oil field company in Odessa, confirmed he was among the victims. And Rodolfo Arco, he was 57, and his sister told USA Today that he left his home in Las Vegas after the mass shooting there, telling his family that Midland, Odessa, seemed like a safer place to be. But then there is this smiling face to share. This is Anderson Davis, the 17-month-old, hit by shrapnel in the face and chest, when the gunman fired into her family's car. She is home from the hospital, even though doctors told her mom there is still shrapnel they cannot remove. Her mom shared an emotional post on social media that included this. To be very honest, I have a strange guilt of how our story ended so happily. My heart hurts so bad for everyone that lost someone yesterday. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.